بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أحبت في الله question was asked السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاك الله خيرا where do you remind where do you recommend for someone to travel for طالب العلم who knows a little Arabic but wants to dedicate their life to seeking knowledge so first and foremost I would say that this is a very noble and beautiful uh, endeavor to go and seek knowledge to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's very important that a person has their intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they have an ikhlas lillah and secondly that they know and understand that this is an act of ibadah and to always keep that in front of them uh, so this is very important for the person on this journey the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man salaka tariqan yaltalmisuhu bihi ilman sahallahu bihi sahallahu sahallahu bihi tariqan al jannah whoever traverses the path of knowledge allah will make easy for him the path to paradise so the salaf used to say talib al ilm talib al jannah seeking knowledge is seeking paradise so getting to the crux of your question so where to go uh in traversing this path of knowledge, this honorable and beautiful path. So first and foremost, as I've said many and countless times, that going to Mamlaka to Arabia to Saudi, if you have the opportunity, going to Saudi Arabia, is the best place to go with regards to your Aqidah. It doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be the best in every specialization in science but you can do everything that you need to the fullest of your ability somewhere in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia that there is immense amount of knowledge especially if you go to Mecca and Medina and then there's other many hidden jewels all over the kingdom so that's where I would first advise if a person has that opportunity either that they're able to get in one of the Islamic universities or they are able to um, uh, go there as an employee and work and do talib al-ilm, seeking knowledge on the side. Or if they're able to get a visa and they're just able to do seek knowledge. Whatever path that you can get to Saudi Arabia, uh, then I would advise to do so. Um, secondly, if one is unable to, which is the case uh, uh, for many people, that I would say that a place like Egypt seems to me to be one of the uh, safer and uh, excellent places where you can learn many of the sciences. You can learn the Arabic language. You can learn uh, the Quran. You can learn uh, the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in fiqh. So you can learn all the sciences, and that is really almost in general in the Muslim world. But Egypt is well known. Uh, however, with Egypt, I would say that to be cautious that you are not in a place that may have some of those excellent sciences but is weak in Aqidah and Creed. Maybe that they teach the Ashadi Creed or philosophy or something like this or politics. And so what I, what I would advise is to, uh, on your journey, to make sure and try to make contact with others who are on this journey of seeking knowledge. Also, I would also recommend and there's no doubt there are places to study in Morocco and there are many brothers and sisters who have lived there and who live there presently who know um, the situation and know the places to study there but obviously you can learn the Arabic language and you can learn the Quran and I'm sure you can learn uh, that you can learn the sciences in the Deen but there also you will have to be very cautious where you study creed that maybe many of the places will have uh, Ashadi uh, uh, influences uh, also I would have included this on a higher place to go and that would be Yemen but however uh, although I do know some brothers that go back and forth to Yemen on a regular basis through the south I could not necessarily recommended as the safest uh, of places that Yemen if we're we have to be real and I'm not living there but just uh, that the situation in general is not a place you can call necessarily safe if you are willing to risk that 
in a place where there is still uh, a lack of instability and you know that you're going to have a bit more challenges and danger possibly uh, that then Yemen would be an excellent place because the Marrakesh is a Sunnah. You, you will have all the sciences that you need to study from the Quran and the Sunnah with the menhaj, the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah. So that is also something we absolutely cannot uh, rule out. But again, there is a safety factor that we should be considerate of, especially those with families and with children and they, uh, you know, uh, they should be aware of that before they uh, decide to go and uh, go to a place like Yemen at this stage. Lastly, let's also not forget other alternatives uh, in the non-Arab speaking or uh, non-Arab uh, world. And that means in places like Indonesia, for example, because Ahl Sunnah is very strong there. And there are institutes, I know some scholars there that I knew from Medina, some of them were my teachers, and they are more than proficient, and you can learn the Arabic language, you can learn all the sciences you need because they have a branch, I believe, of the Islamic University. There's a uh, Marcus Imam Bukhari, I think it is. There are, there are places to study in a place like Indonesia, so that's also something you may want to consider. So we do have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the earth spacious, and there are many places where you can study the Islamic sciences. And I would advise, you know, uh, doing your research and striving to go someplace in the uh, Muslim world. And there are many other places which I'm unfamiliar with. I don't know directly, but I, I'm aware in a general sense that, hey, the, the, the world is spacious. You know, you may find something in Gambia. You may say, find something in Ghana. You may find something in Senegal. But however, you do have to be careful to make sure it's a Marcus of Ahl Sunnah, also in uh, Kenya, I think, or Tanzania. Um, and, and obviously, we forgot Sudan, but I think stability is also an issue there. So we do have to be considerate of those real factors and uh, rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever decision you make, make istikhara and strive to go forward in the path of seeking knowledge and bettering yourself with the intention to remove ignorance from yourself and to remove ignorance from your community. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.